guys so today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial i haven't done a makeup tutorial and i don't even know how freaking long but i don't really know what i'm gonna do today i have some makeup here and i'm just gonna go with the flow so yeah if you want to see what makeup look i come up with just keep watching all right so i'm going to start off by applying some best damn beauty lip mask to moisturize my lips I literally don't even remember the last time that I filmed like a makeup tutorial. I've been doing like a lot of vlogs lately, so. I'm gonna start off by priming my face with my go to Nivea Men Post Shape Balm. You guys know the drill. If you don't, you now know. I use this to apply all over my face. It's really good at um, helping keep my foundation on for a very long time at least for me now i'm going to go in and prime my face again another primer doing the most i'm gonna go in with the smashbox photo finish foundation primer i'm still using the itty bitty one i have a bigger one but i still want to finish this <laughs> it would have been finished like a long time ago but I don't wear makeup every day like I used to. I'm just going to apply this to my T-zone area because those are the areas of my face that have more pores and where my pores are more visible. Now I'm going to prime my eyes with my go-to Too Faced um, Shadow Insurance 24 hour eyeshadow base. I'm going to use this to prime my eyelids. This does a very good job of priming my eyelids, especially because I have oily eyelids, so. I think, I think I'm going to start off with my eyes today. I think I'm going to go with like bold, colorful colors today. I want to just start off with that because, um... I don't want my foundation to have a bunch of fallout. I'm going to go in with the Jaclyn Hill palette. So I'm sure all of you guys have seen it. But here it is in all its glory. Freaking gorgeous. I kind of want to use like one of these colors over here. So I don't know what I'm going to come up with. I'm just going to go for it, I guess. First, let me set my eyeshadow. I'm going to set that with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I'm sitting on my couch right now, if you can't tell. And I'm like putting my face over this table that I have here with all the makeup because I don't want to get my couch dirty. <laughs> I'm going to go in with this shade right here. And I'm going to apply this to my crease area. So this is just going to be my transition shade. I'm literally just putting this color everywhere. Everywhere. Oh, I don't know if I guys... What? I don't know if I told you guys, but I have eyelash extensions now. Just in case you're wondering why my eyelashes look super full. <laughs> um... But yeah, I've had them for, well, I've gotten two refills. So like two-ish months, three months. I've had them for three months, I think since November. Yeah, November. Because I got them before I went to my trip with my dance company, The Puzzly, to Boston. Where we won first place, by the way. <laughs> uh, but yeah. I got them there because I didn't want to apply makeup every day. So I was like, let me just get eyelash extensions. And I've had them ever since. And I'm obsessed with them. The place I go to is called Chicago Lashes. They have two um, locations in Illinois. They have one on... 
Addison and Ashland and then the other ones in Skokie by Old Orchard Mall if you know where those are. And if you're in the Chicago area, that's where I get them done. I go to, um, I get them done by Tasha. Just in case you wanted to know. Mine are just the natural ones, the semi-dramatic ones. I think I'm going to go in with this baby pukey shade. And I'm just focusing this color on the outer V and lower in the crease. And apply this. Guys, this ring light is bright AF. It's like making me sweaty. I don't know how people do it. I'm sure it makes my lighting look on point though, which is all that matters, but I feel hot. I'm just gonna go back in with that other blending brush I use and buff out the edges so there are no harsh lines. This is like a bluish color, right? I think I'm going to go in with that one for my lid shade. So I'm going to go like, I'm going to start going the orangey route. So I'm going to take this orangey shade right here and I'm going to go in with that same brush that I use. Blending in between every color that I apply, of course. I'm going to start going like deeper and deeper, so I'll take this shade first, right here. I'm going to take like 80 million shades, because there's like 80 million shades in this palette. Using the same eyeshadow brush, and I'm just applying this here on the lower part of the crease and the outer corner. Not taking this up to the upper crease because we don't want to cover up all of those other um, colors that we use. Okay, so my camera totally shut off. Well, it didn't shut off, but it stopped recording because I ran out of memory. So I just deleted a bunch of videos. <laughs> so now we're back. But obviously my eyes look different, so I'll let you know what I did. I went in with this color. And then the color that I have all over my lid is this one right here. Right in the middle, so I just applied that um, in my crease and all over my lid. I thought my camera shut off because like I didn't have battery, but I didn't have memory. I actually didn't have a memory. Now that I have that color applied all over my lid, I'm a little terrified of going in with this color. But like, and I haven't tried out this eye look yet. So like, I don't wanna fuck it up, you know? I think I'm just gonna go the neutral route. Sorry, but like, I'm terrified. I'm just gonna go in, I'm just gonna apply this super dark brown color right here. I'm going to apply that all over my lid. Why is everything falling down? I'm going to go ahead and use my MAC 242 brush. I haven't applied, what? I haven't applied um, any base. I'm just going to go in and apply this color. Just pack it on. So I'm applying most of the color by my lash line and then I'm smoking out the rest of the color upwards so that it's not super harsh because I still don't want um, any harsh lines so I'm just focusing all of the color down here and then I'm going to take the other brush that I use and I'm going to go in with some of this color that I used all over the lid and I'm just going to use that to blend out the edges. And I, um, I'm going to keep on packing on this color until I am satisfied with how it looks. 
This is like a very fall color. <laughs> fall eyeshadow look and it's January. But like, whatever. Who doesn't love fall? So I'm just gonna take that color that I've been putting all over my lid and apply it with a blending brush and I'm just gonna use this to apply it to the outer V of my eye to darken up that area as well. So it's not just on the lid. You have to do a lot of blending with these type of eye looks so that it doesn't look like you have a black eye. Um, and that everything ends up looking seamless and blended. One with a brown, I'm going in with that terracotta y brick color and blending out the edges making them look as similar as possible then going in with the brown again with a blending brush and applying it to the outer corner of the eye and boom so that should be the eye look I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my face off camera because I literally use the exact same products that I always use. So yeah. So guys, I am back and I have a full face of makeup on now. So I'm just going to talk about what I use. So I went in with my Fenty Beauty Foundation. I talked about it in my favorites that I've been using it ever since I got it. And I mixed it with my NYX Total Control Drops. So I mixed these two together because the Fenty Beauty foundation is a little bit too light for me, but the undertone is good. So then I just went in with um, these drops because this, this is like my summer color, so it's like darker. So I just mixed them together. I went in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And then I set... My under eyes with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. Then I set the rest of my face with my go-to, the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder. And then I contoured with my Makeup Geek contour pans, the um, medium shades, both the cool and warm ones. Those are the ones that I always use. Um, I just mix them and then contour. And then, what else did I do? I did my brows. I used the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Dark Brown. There we go. I just used that. So I used the darker color because... Also, update, I don't, I don't even know if I've told you guys. Okay, so I got eyelash extensions. I dyed my hair black, if you didn't notice already. And then I have hazel contacts on. Just letting you know if you've noticed like different things from like my previous videos like last year. That's the whole scoop. So those are the changes that I've made. Um, but yeah, that's why I went in with the dark brown now instead of the medium brown. I applied some mascara to my lower lashes. I don't put mascara on my eyelash extensions because I want them to last longer. I applied um, this the exact same eyeshadows that I used on my eyelid and I applied them to my lower lash line and I applied these these are the Sephora radiant luminizing drops in morning light I applied these um, after I applied my concealer um, so that's that shine right here um, I'm going to apply some highlighter right now so I'm going to use the ColourPop super shock cheek in the color electric slide it's just a gold um, highlighter I'm going to apply this on my inner corners of my eyes and my cheeks so I just like using my finger because it applies better with your my finger um, if you haven't used ColourPop products um, th their texture of their products 
are different um, than other makeup companies so like their products are more on the like creamy side if that makes sense like their um highlighters and their uh, super shock shadows are like they're like a wet powder if that makes any sense if you own ColourPop and you own their um, super shock shadows and their, um, their super shock cheek highlighters then you know what I'm talking about um but yeah um I like applying them with my finger um, but I'll also go in with a brush um, to apply it to other parts of my face like my cupid's bow So I'm just going to apply this to my inner corners. Now for lips. I was going to go in with a metallic lip, but I wasn't really feeling that. So I'm just going to go in with a nude. You know me, I like my nude lips. I used to wear a lot of bold lipstick. I don't know why I don't do that anymore, but... I don't know. Um... Yeah, so I'm just going to go in with this Kylie lip liner in the color Dolce K. I'm going to go in with the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip um, in Chi. This is the um, collab with ColourPop and Karushi Tran, if you know who that is. you didn't know already, the Ultra Matte Lips from ColourPop are super, super matte. That's why uh, I applied um, the Best Damn Beauty Lip Mask earlier. Because I knew there was a possibility that I would be using this, and I did. So, now I'm just going to set my face using the Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray. I usually use the All Nighter, but I ran out of them. Also, tangent. If you're wondering why I still have this one, they have new packaging now that they sell at Ulta and Sephora, but they still sell these bottles at Nordstrom Rack, and they sell them way cheaper for what they're, like, selling them for in the store. Yay, so that completes this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will link all of the products that I use in the description box below, so go check it out. I just went along with the flow today. I had no idea what I was going to do. I just knew that I wanted to film a makeup tutorial since I haven't done one in like literally, I don't even know, like six months probably. Yeah, like six months. Pretty sure it's been that long. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to sit down and film a video for you guys. So I hope that you liked it. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel below if you haven't already. Um, yeah. Peace out my buena babes and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.